Hello everybody, how are you? How is your mood? Are you ready? Let's start our English lesson. Model number two, daily life and shopping. The theme of our lesson is cybercrime. The aim of this lesson to use subject specific vocabulary and the syntax to talk about a range of general topics. The bane of the internet, cybercrime refers to any and all illegal activities carried out using technology. Cybercriminals, who range from rogue individuals to organized crime groups to state-sponsored factions, use techniques like phishing, social engineering, and all kinds of malware to pursue their nefarious plans. Find out how cybercrime works and how to protect yourself here. When you hear the word cybercriminal or hacker, what image comes to mind? Is it a sketchy guy, perhaps wearing a dark hoodie, camped out in a dank basement somewhere, typing away furiously? Now let's activate now answer my questions. Have you ever had problems with a virus? If so, what happened? If not, what can viruses do? Have you ever answered a spam email? What happened? What do you use passwords for? How many have you got? Do you receive a lot of spam? What do you do with it? Do you think it is safe to shop online? Track 1.23, Unit 2, Vocabulary and Listening, Exercises 2 and 3. Hello, and welcome to Cutting Edge. This morning we're looking at the problem of cybercrime. This has become a serious problem with hackers using techniques like phishing to steal from people's bank accounts. So our guest today is IT scientist Dr. Sarah Smith, who is here to advise you. The first call is Bill from Bristol. Hello, Bill. What problem have you had? Hi, my problem is spam. I receive hundreds of spam emails. Today, for example, I have received over 20 spam emails and it's only 9am. Have you ever replied to any of these messages, Bill? Yes, occasionally. That isn't good. The first rule is never reply to spam. If you do, you'll receive a lot more. Have you tried a spam filter on your webmail inbox? No, I haven't. You can try that. It'll stop a lot of the spam. You may have one in your webmail program already, and you just need to turn it on. You should check that first. You could also install anti-spam software. That is always quite effective, and you can do that online. There are two types, so you need to choose. Some delete mail on the server, and some delete mail on your computer. Right. Now we've got Elena from Edinburgh. What's happened to you, Elena? I think I've downloaded a virus. I can't open any files. It's really annoying. Yes, you have definitely got a virus, but it may not be a very serious one. Have you ever opened an email attachment from someone you don't know? Yes, I have. Once or twice. And my friends often send me funny attachments, and I've opened those a lot of times. Well, don't. Never open attachments if you don't know what they are or who they're from. That's how many viruses get into computers. Have you downloaded antivirus software onto your computer, Elena? No, I haven't. It's important to have a good antivirus program with a firewall. You can download this software for free. It will protect your computer and clean up the virus. The only problem is with very new viruses. 
you need to update your program so it can deal with new viruses. Don't forget in the future to make backups of all your files. That way, if you do get a virus, you can save your important documents. But what's a firewall, Dr. Smith? Uh, it's software which protects your computer from outside attacks by hackers. It helps stop hackers getting information from your computer. The next call is from Bridget in Brighton. I think she has a serious problem. Hello. Yes. A hacker has used my online telephone account. I don't know how the hacker got my password. It was my brother's birthday. I've changed it now. A birthday is a very easy password to find. It's important to use a strong password with seven or more letters and numbers with no meaning. It's also important to change your password quite often too and not tell anyone. Well, as you've heard, the net is a dangerous place. What's your last word, Dr. Smith? Follow the rules we've talked about in the program and make sure you update your antivirus software. Right, that's all for today. In tomorrow's program... Now, listen again and choose the correct answers. For example, when is a program? At 9 o'clock, at 11 o'clock or at 20 o'clock? And now, my dears, let's conclude our English lesson. At first, now, I know, now, I can, I don't know. For example, now I know about cybercrime. Now I can answer a spam email. I don't know. Is it safe to shop online? And now open your notebooks and write down our home task, exercise number one at page 24. Check the meaning of the words in the box. Then complete the dialogue with six of the words. Hacker, virus, antivirus software, in box, Password, firewall, spam, phishing, spam filter. And now, our lesson is over. Goodbye.